Good morning, colleagues. It's pediatric psychologist Dr. Lynn Kenny in Scottsdale, Arizona today, and I'm so excited that many of you are going to be joining me with the Powerful Project on September 22nd at 4 p.m. Eastern Time in order to talk about eight cognitive physical activities you can do in order to engage your students' self-regulation, self-control, attention, memory, and cognitive flexibility. We know from the literature that physically fit children actually demonstrate greater attentional resources and more on-task behavior than their lesser fit peers. Children who participate in frequent physical activity also earn better grades on standardized academic tests. So we are, in our practice and in our trainings around the world now, we teach brief, like, three to five minute physical activities that are designed to move your students to an alert state of calm. So I thought it might be kind of fun in preparation for our meeting on the 22nd to do some of the activities. Now when we meet for that hour, we'll do brain primers, we'll do drumming, we'll do Cognitap. Today I kind of wanted to show you a paradiddle which I use in my office all the time, and it requires a lot of cognition, okay? So you might have a desk in front of you. I'm standing, but you could be sitting. That would be fine. And you're going to take your hands and simply place them on your desk, and we're going to count to eight in 4-4 four, four time, all right? And as my friend Mike Kazala says, we'll, we'll start it off by saying, one, two, ready, go, all right? One, two, ready, go. Right, left, right, left, right, left, again. Right, left, right, left, right, left, pause. Perfect, pause. Okay, beautiful. Now let's do the other hand. We're gonna start with the left hand. Okay, ready? One, two, ready, go. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Again, left, right, do, ba, da, boom. Perfect, okay, now put your hands up. What a paradiddle is, is it requires cognition because when you move your hand on the last beat, you start the next beat with that hand, okay? So let's imagine we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, and then on that same hand again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now generally when we introduce these activities to the children, we say, listen, when we encode information in our brains, we go slowly. All right, so let's start with this hand, and we'll go slowly. Ready? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same hand. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome! All right, now. Once we practiced a little bit and the kids are really starting to get the rhythm, we'll speed it up, okay? So we're gonna start with this hand, all right? And we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, ba da boo da ba ba da 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 Two more. Do 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 Another thing that I'll show you when we all meet is how to add your toes and your legs for a lot of motor cognition, all right? So I hope you all have a beautiful day and I'll look forward to seeing you on the 22nd of September.